Carl, um, I'm sorry, Matthias Schleiden was a German botanist and he was looking at plant parts underneath the microscope. Now this is the beginning of the very, um, the cell theory. So there were three men that were instrumental in the, in the cell theory and that's who these men were starting to go over now. Schleiden was our first. His first name was Matthias. He was a German botanist. So again, he is a plant uh, guy and he was looking at all kinds of plant parts underneath the microscope. And the thing that he noticed was that every plant that he looked up underneath the microscope uh, was made of cells. Now he was looking in 1838, so this is about 10 years after um, Leeuwenhoek and um, Max von Baer were um, looking at the, at the little protist and the mammalian egg cell. So this is 10 years later. So Schleiden's part of this cell theory is that all plants are made of cells. Now the next man, his name was Theodore Schwann, and he was a German biologist, but what he was doing is he was looking at animal cells underneath the microscope in 1839. So he is the second part of the cell theory, which extended Schleiden's uh, theory in plants, and his contribution was that all animals are made of cells. Now, the third guy that has the um, part in the cell theory was Rudolf Virchow. And he was a doctor. He was a German physician. And in 1855, so this is a few years later, his contribution was is that all cells came from other cells. Sometimes um, they had thoughts that, that there was a theory of what's called vitalism. You guys don't really have to know that. But vitalism is a theory in which life it just spontaneously occurs and they didn't realize at the time that cells actually divided and made new cells. So Rudolf Virchow's contribution was that all cells were made of cells. I'm sorry, that all cells came from cells. <laughs>